Everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dust on Elysian Dale. I've just gone and done a tiny bit of grinding. I'm almost up to level three. Get a little bit of food. Let's be on our way. Goodies and a bomb fruit. Guess what else bomb fruits can good are good for? Blowing up bad guys. Um, forgot to mention. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, stop. Um. Things like your dust storm and combat is generally auto aim. Um, meaning, if you are kind of jumping in the air and slash towards a target, dust will generally um, kind of point himself in the right direction. I'm going to hold off on attack for a little bit. Uh, because the longer it takes us to kill things, the longer uh, the chain we can get. So we're going to take another point to health. Health will be nice to have soon. Also, goodies on this screen somewhere. Last time we mentioned that some bomb fruit have timers. Here's one of them. Make use of them when you can, viewers. Make your life so much easier. With our uh, new pendants and rings and all that, we're doing more damage anyway. So we want to, you know, just try and keep it a bit down. That helps right there. The screen should be around here somewhere. Yeah. We don't want to do that yet. We want to head down. We'll take one of these bomb fruit with us. That will be handy. Boom. Must. Oh yeah. I uh, picked up a couple of new things. Um an imp claw, beast spear, beast leather, bottle, uh, but we picked up a blueprint. I don't think I can actually get to blueprints from here. Uh, blueprint to make an item. We'll have to look at those later. This guy. Hate this guy. That is the most rewarding thing I think about the combat in this game. We will get into that later. Just know that it's a very nice thing to do. There's something in that cage! Quick, get it out! Four locks? I'll take a wild guess and say we need four keys. I'll bet he's right. How many keys do we have? Oddly enough, we have four. How about that? I don't want this bomb food kicking around. Oh, you know what? Wall right here. Let's just blow that up. Get our mysterious wall chicken. The long lock. What do we get? What do we get? What is it? What is it? What is it? We found a friend. All right. Permanent 5% health bonus. It's, it's a meat boy. Hello, meat boy. Yeah. All right, a uh, new region has been revealed, says the little note at the bottom of the screen. That's a new area we can visit once we're on the world map. There's also another way we can go down that way, but we don't have the skill to do it yet. But a 5% permanent health up boost is very handy. Also, friends, one of 12. So there are 11 more, obviously. You can do math. You don't need me to tell you that. Ooh, stuff. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. 
<laughs> You're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. What? Come back later? What is this, Metroid? Yeah, nothing we can do about that. Ah, that. Dang it. I'm out of practice. I hate fighting these. There we go. Not very good at it, viewers. Just use that other feeble fruit. And we will replace that with a Lautanut. Hi, Bambi. Hi, other Bambies. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. This guy. Again. <gasps> it's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence. I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Problem is, sometimes when you really need to parry, there's about eight other things going on at the same time. As you've noticed, the game likes to throw three or four enemies at you at a time, at least. Makes it a little tricky. Oh, it's a house. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. Hello, lady. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, it's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Ooh, we got experience for that. Lots of it. This is our uh, destination. Okay, health would be nice. Let's eat those. Equip that. And save right there. Sorry, bunnies. Let's get my groove gone. Help us! Ah, look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. So that's that's a giant. That's our boss. Remember how I said the game likes to throw three or four things at you at a time? This is one of those moments. And we want to stun this guy, because they're easy to kill once you've done that. There we go! No, wait! That's not all of them! Is that it? 
get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster. And none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <sighs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! Who are you calling weak? We win! Yay! Let's go this way. Okay, looking up at the map, that means this is the end of the map. That is an exit to a new area. I wonder if it's a village, as by the background. The very pretty background. Hello, bunnies! Hi, bunnies! Bunnies, 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 bunnies. Anyway. Hello, people who are not bunnies. Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Calum here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains. You know, gold, silver, um, manganite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Oh, NPCs. So much talking. Prospectors, Fidgets? That was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, 
Maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Quest update! Proving yourself a true hero. Yay! And we don't care about this. Characters with a thing over their head are quest givers. Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. You get a quest, or you get experience for taking quests and completing quests in this game. Uh, which is kind of nice. Um, you probably heard it, but about halfway through Augustine's little talk there, uh, audio changed a bit. I had to redo some lines, I'm thinking. Now, this guy looks like a winner. Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm, is it though? I, well, I guess? He guesses, wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. <laughs> uh, we just got love, a level up for that. That's great. I like that. I like that that happened. All right, um, ba -dum -ba -dum. depends. No fidget. We'll take fidget. Yeah. Boom. Better dust storm stuff. Moving on. Oh, we got blueprint down there. Ooh, treasure on this screen. How about you? What's your story, Mosca? Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just, I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! Experience points for that. Um, I like that when Mosca gets excited, he is holding an imaginary uh, medicine ball. Quest added. 
There you go. Moving on. Let's go up here. Hello. Reed. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. I have a distaste for his nuttiness. By the way, keyboard. Don't know if you noticed. Sorry. I wanted to use a controller. No, you don't have a Xbox Millions Tiger Electronics Cheetah Pad 7. You can't use controller with this game. Why can't I use my Super Nintendo? Hi there. Well, hello. Uh... You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. We didn't get experience for that. I want to use my Super Nintendo controller. All I need to do, I need to go left, right. I need to go up, down. I need to jump. I need to slashy slash. I need to that. I need to that. I can do that with a Super Nintendo controller. Come on. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but listen to these footsteps for a second. Actually took into account what you were stepping on it was going to make different noises. Even just that little stuff. Where is that? Okay, uh, treasure in this area. I don't remember if we talked about it, but you see two colors on our map. Blue means there's a save point. That kind of greeny yellow color means there's a shop. Guess what? Here's a shop. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Uh, yeah. He has nothing for sale that we want. Except those keys. But we can't buy the keys yet. We'll buy keys later. Uh, no bottles are available. None of this stuff is available. Um, basically, we're going to get the same price from this guy as we would from the other merchant. So we'll just sell them to this guy. And if you recall, the other merchant said something about sharing goods. So... Thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. Thank you. Almost. Let's go down and to the left. Because there's a safe point here. And a thing. What is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making this awful, awful racket. Once in a while I hear words that sound like fat and beats. What does that even mean? I'll hide it in the caves beneath the roar until I found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. I'll bet that's a clue. Do you bet that's a clue, viewers? If you bet that's a clue, like this video. If you don't, don't like it. Treasure chest. No keys. Child. Hello, child. 
What happened? Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Give me your experience, child. Okay. Marriage quest. And we're almost to a level up again. How great are we? Pretty darn great. Hello, large man. Good day. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. There was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Level up! Um, let's do attack this time. So. Once we have one gem in each of the lowest levels, then we can increase the others. I mentioned that in the last episode a bit. 
Ah, thank God we're talking, done talking to people. Oh no. Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. And lots of experience for that one. Uh, to the right is the exit. We won't do that just yet. There's still some more we can do here. Uh, but we're pretty much going to call this an episode. Um, to get those imp hides for fail, we could go and grind from imps forever and ever and ever. Or we could just go and buy them from the shops. I will grind for those off screen. Because that is a good way to get some extra experience points. And I promise later on in the game, not even that much later, we are going to want those extra levels ups. For now, however, we're going to go down here and see if we can find out something about this lower exit. Ginger by ginger. You can be hurt in town uh, doing that, so don't fiddle around with it too much. Let's see if I can remember how to get where I want to go. I'm fairly certain we don't have to open that chest to do this. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Anyway. Any dang way. Any zhang way. We'll just pop down here, drop another save. Bloop, bloop. Uh, just go right back over that. And I will see you folks next time. Thank you for watching. Carry on.